Oliver, RSA came up with some pretty impressive first half figures today. That's the British insurer that's on the receiving end of interest from, shall we say, interest, that's probably as far as we can go, from Swiss insurer, global insurer, indeed, Zurich. Now, one would expect a company that's on the receiving end of, of vague interest from a suitor, in fact, disclosed interest from a suitor, that uh, the profits would go up quite a bit. But is there more to it than that? Well, it's delivering on the recovery plan that, 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 that has been in place for about 18 months. Stephen Hester, the chief executive of RSA, has been turning the business around. He raised some money on a rights issue. He's been selling off non-core businesses for decent prices. He's been cutting costs. So the big jump in profits is what you might hope and expect from a, a turnaround plan. It's on the back of all the right sort of things, a good underwriting performance and lower costs, offset slightly by a worse investment performance. So the, the turnaround is coming through, and, and you would expect a big jump in profits. And Zurich also had some results out today, which was beautifully synchronized, even if unintentional. Yes, less, imp less impressive there from Zurich. It's had a couple of big one-off claims in the UK and the US. That's pushed its pre tax profits down slightly. It shares are down 4% today. It was slightly, a slight sort of miss against expectations. And, and you might, looking at these two performances, say, well, why, why wouldn't Zurich want to get in on the recovery story at RSA? Well, here we come down to that small matter of price. You've got a Swiss company that we know has got $3 billion of surplus capital because it said so. It said it would allocate it first to M&A, and if it couldn't find M&A, it would pay it back in dividends. But then it boils down at the UK end, at RSA end, to a question of price. And Mr. Hester came in at what price, and what would he, well, what would get him to talk? Do you think? I don't know what what would get him to talk. But the day before he was appointed, RSA shares were at 480p. Um, they're slightly ahead of that now, partly due to the the takeover speculation. But it's hard to see how a deal would work out for Zurich. Let's assume that Zurich is persuaded to pay 550p for um, RSA. Now, it, Zurich itself says it needs a 10% return on equity. Now, to get that kind of return on equity, it would have to find a lot of savings uh, from a deal at 550p. Maybe it's 250 million pounds worth of cost savings on a 1.2 billion pound RSA cost base. So to pay, make it work at a, a reasonable premium, it has to work very, very hard on cost savings. And Zurich shareholders might say, well, that looks like a, a risk too far for us. Okay, Oliver, thanks very much. It looks to me as though we've got three billion waiting to find a home and shareholders have got in Zurich have got to work out whether it is indeed better spent by themselves or whether it's better spent by their company.